look at this little really, stuff. Really, really rough. So, <laughs> this whole thing, <laughs> this whole Fixer Friday, it's just us today. Yeah, we're holding yeah, it down for the whole team. And we have another doozy for you guys. I mean, this is a fixer through and through. Today we are in Kensington, one of my personal favorite neighborhoods. I love this neighborhood. In all of San Diego because of all the character and charm that these old homes have to offer. I mean, right yeah. off the bat, look at this cutie little porch that we're on. Yeah, but it, a little it goes downhill real quick. So <laughs> yeah. let's check it out. Um, right off the bat, I mean, yeah, entry's a bit rough. The door is literally peeling off of the frame. I think uh, that's and, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, and there's a hole in the ceiling above us. The floor is missing beneath us. It's rough right yeah, here. Yeah, as we go through, you guys will see, I mean, tons of moisture issues, cracking. Yeah, you know the roof on this place is just shot completely, completely shot. because there's holes in the ceiling everywhere. But what's really nice is, and so characteristic of this area, is some of the character that we're seeing in this room. The cool yeah. ceilings, this amazing fireplace. Like if this was redone, this would be a really cool room. Yeah, I love the archway to the dining area. Mm -hmm. So I love that there appears to be some hardwood floors underneath. It would be a question as to whether or not they're salvageable, especially yeah. with how much roof leakage it seems like we have in this house. But some big ticket items I'm noticing are definitely right. cracking. Oh. I know, there's cracking all, all throughout this home. I mean, this crack goes like all the way from the fireplace up and over. And what's interesting too, I don't know if you noticed this, John, at first I was like, oh, they've got built-ins. These are in the old window holes. So I don't know if like the glass broke and they just built these bookshelves here, but this is yeah. obviously causing a lot of water damage. There's water just coming right in here. Um, this is the area. more formal like dining area, which again, pretty cool with the ceilings, the archways, all that character. I mean, again, it's one of those things like if you put in the work here, I mean, this could be a beautiful, beautiful. I area. honestly would probably do, this is about a foot deep. I would probably do a foot deep cabinet here. Yeah, like a bar. Like a bar yeah. and do some cup shelves. I think mm -hmm. that would be pretty dope. Definitely. And I like, again, like you said, the coved ceilings in here and the detail, just yeah. like the overall detail. Now the kitchen, the kitchen's in rough shape. <laughs> it's in really rough shape. Yeah. And I think if it was possible, the play would absolutely be to take out this wall. Another as arch as would be awesome. If you could incorporate another arch here, that would be so prime. So. Oh, but the kitchen yeah. is rough. Look at this little Really, stove. really, really rough. So, this whole thing, <laughs> this whole thing would need to get completely gutted. Yeah, totally and honestly, gutted. we were kind of talking about, there's a formal dining area over there, so you don't really need this dining nook back here. Like, I would redo this entire thing and basically make this a big part of the kitchen. I agree. I think just rip everything mm -hmm. out, do counters around. You could put so much storage yeah. and maybe even move, like, the fridge to one of these back corners. I think it would be really great. There's some substantial cracking throughout this room as well, which is just crazy. And there is a door to the exterior, but it doesn't open. We're locked in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, sorry, you can almost get out, but so not really. So I'll check out the other side of the house. Ew, the look bedrooms. at this dishwasher, John. That is just terrible. I don't even know. Is it rusting? Is it dirty? I don't even know. Um, so this is a three bedroom, two bath home. And I feel like the floor plan really works. Do it you does. Like the floor plan? I like it a lot. I mean, I think this is not for your first project. Yeah, probably. this is not for the faint of heart by yeah. any means. But it's, it's great. I like it. <laughs> Hello. It's not hooked up. Oh, it's also really dirty on there. That's gross. But look at the little phone. That's cute. Here we are in the master. The master is located in a nice part of the house. A lot of people like when the master is located on the back 
of the home. Is this one the... I feel like I'm a little nervous to open it. Oh, whoa, it's literally coming out at me. So I don't know if you guys know, these older homes have these awesome... Oh, wow, this one's in a bit of a rough shape. But this would be perfect for your ironing. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about the master, John. Well, we have the hardwood floors, which are nice. Um, this is a smaller bedroom, I would say, but pretty typical for this area. The master bathroom is especially small, I would say. Honestly, like the shower is. And it's so spider webby in there that I'm honestly a bit hesitant to even and go in. Again, like part of the hole, there's a hole in the ceiling in there. You can see more of the water damage here. Like mm -hmm. basically, there's probably so much water that's gotten in all of this part that there's so much rot and probably mold, probably a blimp. And honestly, what's a bit worrisome that I'm just thinking about right now is how much that I'm sure that there's lead in this paint and it is chipping everywhere in this house. It's, it's a good possibility it, based on the age of the home for sure. Absolutely. I do like though, they have like, ugh, the spider webs are just obscene. Kind of like tiny his and hers closets. I do think the play here would be to just rip all these out and make one nice big closet because the room is on the smaller side. Yeah. So this room, this is really what <laughs> sums up the water damage the most. Yeah, and this will be great because you guys can really see what we're dealing with. You can see kind of how the ceiling has started to bubble and cave in, and parts of it have literally fallen off of the ceiling and the wall. Yeah, I mean this whole part is... What's really cool, you guys maybe have never seen this type of framing. This is very signature for homes built in the 20s and 30s. They're really tiny slats of wood that come together, much different from the framing of today's day and age, and it goes throughout the entire home, including the ceiling. This is a rough room. Yeah. <laughs> this needs a lot of work. The windows are kind of cute. No, they're not. <laughs> not I mean, all. everything's got to go. Everything's got to go. So I'm stepping into the hall bath. What's really nice about it is it's a good footprint. You can absolutely fit a dual vanity in here, um, potentially like retile the shower. I kind of like the aesthetic of the cove um, shower and toilet nook, but I think it's just all got to go, all got to get gutted. What do you guys think of this yellow tile? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'm not a fan. That one was pink. This one's yellow. Something else too guys come in here. I would imagine this, they might even have knob and tube wiring. I was wiring. gonna say, I think based on the light Based switches, on some of the old electrical, I would imagine all the electrical might have to get replaced as well, because this could be literally original from when this was built. I mean, right off the bat, I'm seeing some really big ticket items. I mean, whoa, look at this spider web just floating. Oh, I'm Ew, touching it. because, I don't know, can you guys see that? It's so gross. Um, but right off the bat, I'm seeing some really big ticket items. We've got the windows, we've got foundation issues, foundation, electrical, roof. yeah, roof. I mean, you pretty much have to gut a good portion of this. You do, sure. yeah. Yeah. Let's check out the yard. What's interesting is because we can't get through the back doors right now, we're going to go around the house. So really nice big footprint out here. Yeah, I mean, great size lot. Um, definitely would want to add some privacy in the back considering <laughs> like that fence is just falling down and you can basically just walk right into your neighbor's yard. But totally. um, tons of space to work here. I mean, we have a little bit of a patio area, I guess, but again, this would probably all have to go. But one of the cool bonuses that the, this does have is there's actually a unit above the garage. now. We can't get into it because literally the stairs to go up to it are completely gone. And honestly, based on the condition of the house, I would say that that may, I mean, it's a big question mark. That may need to be... Oh, I would imagine it's just as bad as the rest of the house. That's what I mean. So I would imagine that the stairs is... probably were so bad that they had to get ripped off and that's why we can't get up there. Yeah. So it's interesting. I'll be, you know, it's a question as to whether or not you can save that and still have it be functioning as an apartment, but it is a nice potential feature of the home. 
And I love, I mean, how big this lot is because you're talking a very awesome and desirable part of town. This home, I'm gonna probably shock you guys, it's listed at 750. 750 for this thing, right? Um, but what's nuts is this house next door actually sold for 135 last summer. So 1,350,000. And it was a similar size, three, uh, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. And that didn't even have the second unit. Either. No, it didn't. So it would be curious to see what the potential is on this home if somebody were to really do a nice job. I honestly love it. I feel like the character's there. Yeah. I feel like it has a lot of potential, but it, it requires a really big budget, and that's something we'd have to discuss. I was gonna say, six months to a year, this will probably be back on the market and look awesome. And it will probably be over a million bucks. Oh, it'll 100% be over a million dollars. Well, it depends dollars. on the project that somebody does. No, but... it will 100% be over a million dollars. This is a great neighborhood. I'm guessing that it probably would be closer to the 1.3 That's plus, what I was say, especially probably, if they have that second unit. Oh yeah, if the second unit is functioning and something rentable right away or like a grandma type yeah. uh, like family could live there, I would say 1.3 easy. Yeah. So, so, what are you guys saying? I like it. Thumbs Let up, us know what down. you would think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs yeah. down. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, all yeah. those buttons. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay healthy.